Hey, welcome Tech for Road Channel, I'm Michael. You know, I, I realize I've never started any of these reviews in a dark scene. So here we are, welcome to this review of another action camera. And I believe the market has never been that saturated as it is nowadays. We finally see someone who is pushing GoPro and there's some real competition on the premium segment. And these budget devices, they, they have their own battle, you know, in, in the price range between $100 and $150, where you can find exciting, interesting solutions that can actually make some good footage. One more contender, which uh, costs at about that price, and I've summarized the top five budget cameras of 2018 in a separate video. You can check it out if you haven't done it yet. This definitely is going to make it to 2019's best contenders. A new motto coming from Unreal, called the 4K, the 2019 edition. Let's check it out. I spoiled it, didn't I? Well, yes, this action camera is actually good. I, I like it a lot. Now, the first serious test about the internal microphone, it's omnidirectional and I'm testing it in possibly the worst kind of environment, a very noisy street and a lot of wind over here. You can see a lot of cars flowing and that's why it's so noisy and here's the wind which is quite terrible. That's why most of the time I'm recording with an external microphone well covered over here. Uh, with an external recording, I'm synchronizing this in post-production because otherwise it would sound too terrible. Um, no, this camera does not support any external microphone, although it has a Type-C port, but unfortunately the firmware wouldn't allow anything external. And that's how the embedded one sounds. Let me begin with thanking to the sponsor of this video. IVOC VPN is among the most trusted VPN services worldwide and is a perfect solution should you want to stay safe from hackers, remain anonymous online and access restricted sites in your region. Just install the app, choose from the hundreds of available servers and tab for establishing connectivity. You can find more information and a special discount code in the description right below the video. In terms of the features offered, the quality of the design and the menus, it is somewhere between SJ8 Plus and SJA Pro by SJCAM. And I'm not mentioning these models randomly, there are a lot of similarities between the Plus user interface and the Unreal 4K menu grouping, and we'll get back to this point. As usual, we're going to review the three special ingredients – hardware, software, and I'll show you in between a lot from my experience with it so far. Okay, now prepare for something different about the unboxing. Ready? Well, how about that? The kind of feeling is known from the boxes of a new premium smartphones and finally something different and very pleasing. It's not just the box, also the accessories are different. First good news, type C. Second good news, a wristwatch-like remote. Apparently great idea for carrying and not losing somewhere in the pockets. Third good news, a waterproof case part of the pack. We're not over yet. Here's the best part. Inside the box, on the ground floor, spare battery and the accessories, and they seem not to be as many as other models, but I can see the most important ones, and if you need something extra, a chest or forehead strap, or some special hooks or mounts, there are plenty of affordable accessories packs, and you can see some recommendations linked in the description below the video. The outlook of the camera is also nice, a tripod mount at the bottom, which I more and more tend to believe is a must for any kind of action camera. There's a side plastic door covering the Type-C USB port, the microSD card and the battery are coming in from the bottom side. And let me show you a very similar approach taken by another camera, maybe it's not just a coincidence. Certainly housings are not identical, but material, placement of buttons, port connectivity, they are very similar. There's only one button, used as a shutter when pressing shortly, and power on and off should you do a long press, and the lack of additional buttons means that we count on a touchscreen. 
That whole thing sounds great and of course the touchscreen is good, bright and responsive, however has one major disadvantage. If you're going to shoot underwater, there is no way to change the shooting mode while the camera is inside the case, meaning that your actions will be limited to using the mode that is currently configured. Anyways, after seeing how good it looks on the outside, let's see if we will find such a good job done on the inside. Chipset is High Silicon 3559, well known for good performance, not flagship though. Sony IMX377 sensor with 1x2 to 3 inches size, which is the same as the just announced in DJI Osmo Action. 170 degree wide angle lens and 1000 mAh battery. On paper, the weakest point is the battery. However, I need to underline that it works as good and lets me shoot for as long as I could get with most action cameras that have 1200 or even 1300 mAh batteries. It looks like power consumption is well balanced. Switching to software and features now. The menu walkthrough starts with the next thing that Unreal did right a short, 8-step tutorial that guides you through the most important menus, a good tradition which started from GoPro and now tends to be used by more manufacturers. Let me put things like that. I belong to the people that actually prefer physical buttons and still enjoy the navigation of the Unreal. Very intuitive, well-grouped and fluid, and I've mentioned a few times the SJ8 series by SJCam, so let's check what we've seen a few months ago. Here's the menu of the SJ8 Plus, quite similar to this one. Going further, resolution support, quite a few, and I highlight the fact that 4K is supported up to 30 frames per second with image stabilization. There's a feature for distortion correction, and unlike most action cameras using this iCitycon chipset, there is the possibility to have both EIS, electronic image stabilization, and LDC, lens distortion correction, simultaneously. One more very serious advantage of that unit that we're testing, which by the way has the weird name B1K+. Perhaps this is why on Amazon they sell it just as Unreal native 4K camera. To the picture controls belong the white balance, ISO and exposure. You get software controlled field of view settings, be careful with the usage as they tend to worsen the image quality a bit. There also is a settings menu to contribute to the adjustments with some maintenance features, inverted modes and wide dynamic range possibility. I actually kept WDR on most of the time and for shooting photos there even is HDR mode. And notice that it makes quite a difference with photos, especially at lower light. Look carefully at this image, which was shot at sunset at not too generous lighting conditions, especially for an action camera. And now check the same scenery with HDR on. Know that while taking the photo in this mode, the camera has to stand still for a few seconds and you will have to patiently wait until you get decent results. But in my opinion, the time you need to spend waiting is totally worth it. And the only thing I'm sorry about is that there is no RAW format support, as this kind of photo quality is not to be seen in most action cameras. Having the chance to shoot non-distorted photos is still considered to be a more premium feature and rarely to be seen outside the premium segment. In my opinion, the stabilization on the camera works well too and seems to be better than any other camera running the same kind of processor. We also have a variety of functions and modes, including time-lapse options, burst mode, possibility for video and photo mode, and even a car mode which powers on the camera and starts recording automatically should it sense power input. The slow motion is also impressive, yes, at 120 frames per second in Full HD, the quality is considerably lower because the processor can't give you more than 60 megabit in Full HD, which is slightly more than what you get at 30 frames per second. Same behavior as most other action cameras at that price range, so don't get surprised to see not too sharp image with slightly washed out colors in slow motion. While I haven't used the car mode for that long, guess the short time enjoying it was well worth looking at beautiful scenery around Lago di Garda in the northern part of Italy. Of course, the camera has a Wi-Fi module and therefore a smartphone app as well. It uses the same app as the 8-month travel, it's called U2 Pro. To enable Wi-Fi, swipe down to get to the quick options, enable the hotspot and connect with the phone. The menus available are not too many, however seem to have most of the options you will need on the go. 
Do you know what else I liked a lot about this camera? I couldn't find a bug in the software. Probably my kind of usage might be different to yours, but for prepping up this review, I've gone through almost every possible setting and it was working alright. So, is this action camera good for you? Yes, in my opinion, it is one of the most complete and capable models for its price. Given the reputation of Unreal at being good at design and manufacturing, furthermore being a factory for action cameras, they seem to do the job right, having even passed FCC certification. Closest rivals are now in trouble, I definitely like the easy navigation, the better stabilization and the touchscreen over, for example, Apeman Travo at a slightly higher price. It has better sensor and performance and color science than the SJ8 Plus and seems to not be that far away behind SJ8 Pro at a more tempting price. No external microphone, rather useless website, as there seems to be no link to download any firmware, and probably you may need to buy some extra accessories, but considering the awesome package, the lovely quality and the same sensor as the Osmo Action, certainly not the best of 2019, but if we add the word budget next to the word best, it might build up the statement for the maximum you could get at this price. And you might just have seen the review of your next budget action cam. Thank you so much for spending some time with me. I'm also inviting you to subscribe, like or share the video with friends. And would greatly appreciate saying hi in the comments below. My name is Michael and I'm looking forward to see you in the next episode.